Pay Collective. How are you all doing? I was pulling out this reading for us. Oh, reptilians. I'm gonna read I'm gonna read in that book what this means, okay? Uh what all these different creatures is running amongst. We got the Merkaba come out. We got mantis beings, we got Lyrians, and we got reptilians. Who else is coming up? Oh, and then we got the Archuarians, and you know this these people, they feel safe, and uh, they're wisdom keepers. It's somebody like me, or a ebb and a big head uh, mystery. I can read between the lines, because I use my intuition. We're going to put that right there. Yep, we're going to put that right there. Let's see. Hang on, I've got to get out my books that I needed. Since we need to do some study time, every one of us does. We need to do some studying on the smarts. Let's see all the smarts. How much smarts have we got? Hang on a minute. I need that little green book where the hell it is. Shut up, Bella. You trapped yourself in there. Now you gotta stay in there. Big monk. my book. I'm trying to find my book, you all. Just wait a second. I don't know where the hell it is. I figured I'd come on here so y'all see I always pull this out. Uh, everything that falls out on my table is for a fucking reason, okay? I ain't no cheat. I don't like cheats and liars and people that says I'm a liar and all this. No, I'm getting fucking fed up with it. I'm the one supposed to talk and tell and they, they can keep trying to push me away in this community, but I'm going to push right back every fucking day of my life. I've never seen somebody as strong as me. I'm telling you right now. I don't know where the hell my one thing has went. I don't know where my one book went. Tell them one down cards. Hang on a minute. collective uh i'm trying to find the damn book so i can read this to y'all and so you'll believe somebody and i don't know where the freaking book is at i can't find my book on that one down deck and i was i was needing to find it for a reason for a reason so we know what them cards mean okay where did it go to spirit? I don't know. Where the hell is my book at? There's Cabbage Patch book. I don't know where my book went to, you all. And that stupid one. Nope, I don't. So I'll have to use my intuition on it. But anyways, uh, what pulled out was a uh, quantum... Quantum Heart, Expansion, Compassion, Planetarian Guardian. Okay, that's that's what pulled out. And what that means is, here's for the Pleiadians. Here's y'all some intelligent information and knowing what it means. 
Quantum Heart, the Pleiadian family, as well as many other star allies from the Galactic Federation of Light, operate on a multidimensional wavelength in which time is easily moldable and interchangeable, referred to as time travel or timeline jumping. On your plane, the access to the multidimensional field allows for one to transcend earthly limits and further advance their self-mastery with ease and grace. Oh, you're, you're mastering yourself. Um... It is here in your heart space where the star incarnate has access to the multidimensional universe or quantum highway. These quantum realms, which your earth scientists are starting to discover, grant one access to the space of miracles, where one is able to rewrite the past, rewrite karmic contracts, dismantle outdated soul agreements, and connect to your future self to further evolve on your present life path. Take advantage and know that all the choices you make through your quantum heart will be in your highest alignment. You got to process all this by connecting to the frequency of love. Uh, this is about freedom, options, infinite possibility, play, accelerated growth, new beginnings, love, romance, relationships, living in the heart. So, so maybe you live in the heart and you live with your partner. Oh, well, that's good. That's good for you guys. I do too. I, I hear you. Okay, let's see what else it says. And it says in expansion, compassion, what that says is, uh, compassion is uh, the great source of energy that connects all of existence together. When one is in a state of compassion, they enter into a field of oneness that is stable that is able to sense multiple forms of intelligences simultaneously and expand into the infinite. Um, the Pleiadian guides are inviting you to activate more compassion to your daily life. Perhaps there could be one individual in particular that has been agitating you and throwing you off your game. And that could be throwing you off of your game and your spiritual practice. And maybe another has been masquerading in order to activate a certain template of wisdom within huh whatever the current or upcoming situation this is guidance that compassionate wisdom will carry you gracefully through your upcoming cycle know that compassion is the way to the multi-dimensional field in which we the pladeans reside expansion is compassion expand your field this is about mercy understanding unity wholeness upgrades are coming magic wisdom seeing another perspective so I think people started seeing another perspective with the, that reading I put out, you know, that y'all seen this uh, this morning on uh, Thursday. I think people's understanding. I'm, I uh, uh, quit playing with me and playing in my energy because you better be expanding your mind and being a little bit more compassionate because I'm trying to communicate to you all and try to help give you all some of my healing energy. But I know one thing. If you, if you go against it, you'll wish that you hadn't. And maybe you see a lot of hummingbirds around your house or tigers. You might live in Siberia. I love them beautiful tigers. I'd love to see that. A 34. And 34 says, Planetary Guardian. It is a great honor when one serves the earth and becomes a planetary guardian. Your human species has in many cases been led astray into the forfeited confines of the intellectual mind to lose their deeper connection to the sacredness of your earth. But if the intellect is not balanced by proper time and stillness and communion with nature, one risks running into mental rep repetition, loops, that enslave oneself and block soul awareness from being received. Boy, ain't that so true. Uh, make today one of these shifts by returning to earth. Know clearly that your planet house is the secrets of yourself through her medicinal plants, calming sounds, ebbs and flows, and dynamic presence. This planet you reside on is a living library of cosmic information. And see, I had that uh, dream uh, way before I ever read anything about a library or anything, you all. And I wrote it on one of them white index cards that I have in my hat box reading. So see, uh, when I had that, what that meant is I'm supposed to be um, a teacher and, and and people learn from me, and they got to stop pushing me away in the spiritual practice because cause spirit's getting pissed off, but that's okay. I'm empowering myself in others' lives, and I'm going to keep doing it. This is talking about being service, balancing out 
reveals, revealing, simplicity, technology, fast. You know how to study the earth. You be with the earth. This is healing. This is cycles. This is completing. So this is talking about cycling up, opening up at heart, and have compassion to let it out into the earth. And that's what you do. And that's what it means, baby. That's what it means. And uh, Merkaba come out. You're all getting ready to move. And you might be having a long-distance travel and feel a lot of excitement. Maybe you um, have this star, the Star of David, Merkaba. Well, I mean, it doesn't look, it, this thing looks like, you know, that coming something that I bought. But this thing looks different. But I know you're getting ready to move. And it looks like you're calling in your power. See how that power's all coming into you? A tower, something's getting ready to happen. Oh, and it could be to these mantis beings. This is about enigma, elusive, sensitive beings. And every time I see this 12 mantis beings, I always think of it as Virgo. And if you look on a, on a circle of all the planets, Aries, Taurus, and all this, I'm pretty sure if you look at uh, Pisces, Virgo is right underneath it. It is. I was right. It is. And that's how you know that I'm right. Pisces and um, Virgo living in their north node, which would be that Pisces mantis beings. Get it? All right. Okay, and you might be a Lyrian, you know, and I believe this is me. 1144, you know, and 11, and 1144 and 1111. You could be a Lyrian and you got a lot of strength and courage and you're brave. Because you might have been an Aquarius and you're living in your North Node, which is Leo. And it looks like lines and you look like them cats right there. And you're very strong and you're very smart and you're out of this world. See how he sees all planets around? You know, you have a lot of fucking wisdom. And, and you know your place in it. Look how he's like, yeah, look. See, I got a lot of sacred geometry and knowing inside of me. Yeah. And maybe you and you and this, uh, maybe it's, uh, it's Virgo Pisces or it's Aquarius Leo. They're getting ready to leave. Are you listening? That's about your Pisces. Leaving all that karmic shit in the Pisces and going to your North Node future. Moving. You're moving to your future. And these reptilians, these predators, that's all about survival and they're tyrannical beings. And, um... These are, you know, reptilians. Um, I, I think of these as uh, karmics right here. These, these, because they're bullies. These are narcissists. If you want to know, this is the uh, narcissist card. Narcissist reptilians. And um, I don't have to find the book. I have enough common sense to know that that's a fucking narcissist. And um, archuarians. Um, you, uh, you know, you, you feel safe. You're a wisdom keeper. You're concerned for all of mankind, you know, and this is a six. And so, you know, this can be, this can be Virgo too, I think. But this, this little being right here, I think that, um, twins are the archuarians, okay? It doesn't matter what sign you are. I think twins are the people that feel safe and they're the wisdom keepers and they're concerned for all humanity. And if y'all love me and you know that's true, hit subscribe. All right, and these Ebons, number eight, you know, this could be Scorpios. But, you know, this is somebody that can read between the lines. This is someone who uses their intuition. This can be anyone's sign. But notice the moon. And this morning, it was one of these little, bell, little, bit, little bitty fingernail moons, okay? And that's when you need to release things. And, and this is when your intuition will be very heightened when you see that little fingernail moon. 14, 14, that's why I had such a good reading this morning. Ha, ha, ha. Because Spirit did it. Because Spirit said, there, you want to show, you know, that woman wants to make fun of your head and say you got a big head? It's full of knowledge. She now, she fucking knows it's full of knowledge. They, that's... That's putting you out to be a piece of shit in this community. And I know they did it to me, collective. That's why I'm voicing it with my mouth. And that's okay. People in the spirit community that's going against other spiritual leaders and saying they're fake and all this. And they know for a fact I'm not fake. They, they know for a fucking fact I'm not fake. All you got to do is listen to what I'm voicing with my lips. 
Go over and listen to this reader that stole from me the damn app. You know, where it spits out shit. She stole that from my friend in my collective. And uh, and I'm trying to make it be known that uh, she said she's going to keep stealing people's content. 1515. 66, I think your ass is getting ready to get shipped off on Route 66. You're going to have to move far away because the secret got out about you. P-O-L-E, P-I-L-L-Y, minus the, the, one, the, the one letter sounds um, silent. I'll put it like that. Okay, Dr. Phil. <laughs> you know Dr. Phil, don't you? Have y'all watched Dr. Phil? Yeah, well, that ain't Dr. Phil I'm talking about. Mm-mm. And, um, no, and I had, I had respect for that woman until she did that the other day to me, and she, and, and, and she knew that I wasn't paying attention to her channel, and she slipped that and over on me, and now I know, and now I know. So, you better be scared about see all this power coming back into me at the moment. Listen, reader, you better be fucking worried about this, because us, me, and all these good readers that know what the fuck we're meant for... We're coming to take you down and, and your witch covens and your cults. I've had that motherfucking witch coven card. Does people start to believe me finally? Y'all finally believing I was telling the truth? And I heard that one reader say the other day, Lillian, you're getting it. She was going to tell the, the, you know, the she was going to uh, tell the lawyers, Honey, I was the one talking about Lily for a long time. Yeah. She's an empress or goddess, and uh, I got proof of it where it, sh it spit out her name, and that's how you know I'm telling the truth, when it spit out their name right at, right in the middle, right in the middle of the thing. Like that one reader did to me, she said I was a piece of shit mommy, and I blared out on this reading that I told y'all to watch, that one about judgment and justice, I blared out to where uh, she found out who the shitty mommy was in it. It was her and uh, my stepson's mommy. And she said, I was shitty and I did, and I was doing magic on my kids and you're going to hell. That's what this means. Hell's coming to get you, okay? You can't hide forever, our praying mantis. You've seen one every day. You've seen one the other day. And this woman over here, it's a fucking lion and I'm not a little pussy cat. I'm a biggest motherfucking courageous son bitch you ever saw. See, yes, I'm these big cats. I'm missing. And I'm telling you right now, I don't give a fuck. If I only got 400 subscribers, I'm a big cat motherfucker, and I know my place. So, you you better watch, because uh, we're moving in to take it over. Me and this Virgo Pisces and Aquarius Leo, we're moving in to take it over. Fuck you, reptilians. You're all going to hell. We're going to feel so safe. Me and, me, me and these other readers, it's got enough sense. Because we read between the lines what this person was doing in the collective. Yeah, and I'm trying to get it out of the collective. Why do you think all that negative energy keeps coming around collective? I'm trying to make people be aware of it. It wasn't me. You all was thinking it was me, and it wasn't. And it was these people against me, and they don't want my channel to grow because I started getting up. And she she knew I was going to fly past her, that one girl. Well, fuck her. Fuck her. Because she, she'll be going down. Oh, and Issa come out. And Isa in ruins means cosmic interference, coherence, ice. And this means uh, running on ice, no progress. This ruin symbolizes ice, and you may find yourself on a slippery pipe. So stop struggling to make progress, for it is futile. Wait for the thaw to come before moving on. See, Spirit warns you when to move on. They was trying to make you immobile in this partnership. See that man and woman, they're, they're jealous of that because you was joy and harmony, and you're a light in your success. You know, and um, V, this means V or W, and this is about kinship, heritage, and joy. And my last name used to be a V. So, yeah, this is me. This represents a forbidden fruit. We should recognize our own ability to nurture and create success and take this forward as we grow further. Yeah, I mean, so this is about being immobile, about going after. That's trying to make you immobile going after your success, Pam, PV. Don't that look like a P? Let's try and make you not go after your success, PV, my old initials. See, fucking bastards. I tell on you all the time. Uh, and then here we got your ass, and it looks like a Taurus bull. And now remember, you all, if you know you haven't done anything personally to me, this ain't for you. This is this one reader that I know personally did something to me. Pilly. And uh, this is about your individual freedom and you, your ass, power. 
your, this is about your primal creative force in a gateway. They was they come through a gateway on you. See, it's Taurus come through a gateway on you. See how it's coming through the gateway? Uh huh. They didn't know I'm a Taurus rise, and that's how I show up in the world. I'm a fucking Taurus. What's your all's rise, and that's how you all show up in the world? Let's get it clear of who the bull is, okay? I got four fucking fixed signs in me. Every fucking fixed sign it is is in me. Uh, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, they're all in me. No pain, no gain. To get to get fit, you have to work for it. You, you, rem, you reminds us that perhaps we should put more effort into achieving what we desire. And that sometimes there is dark before we see the light. See, they, they, they put everybody through this. They put you through initiation phase like they did me. They doing this spiritual. I'm telling you the truth now, you all. You can believe me or not, but I'm telling you the truth. I've prayed a lot about this. Uh-huh, Ophelia. This is about your inheritance, homeland separation. They're trying to separate you from your family, see? They're trying to separate you from your homelands where you know you came from, where you know you have a spiritual inheritance at. This is about your inherited property of your genetics. We inherit so much from our families and our ancestors that is of value and importance, but perhaps we tend to cling too tightly for our own good. Odell suggests we break free and grow in, grow on our right own path and you know that's what i'm doing i'm growing in my path you know what people say i'm not but they're stupid they're, they're they really don't pay attention i've done left many many things in in my life and i know i have i i don't have to prove nothing these tarot readers because if they fucking listen to me i've done proved it oh jara and this is about you know fruit that's what it looks like this is about uh the earth it's about cycles and the right action. This is the harvest. This is this year you're getting your harvest. I know I am. I know the harvest coming to me in 22. I don't know it. And there's a time and place for everything. And Jer, and my husband's name, Jer. I love you, Jer. This reminds this. If we nurture our crop, we may reap when, when the harvest is due. However, we must not rush things because our yield may not be what we expect. See, and I'm not rushing it. I'm not rushing it. Other people placed immobility on me. It was this coven of witches that everybody's talking about in the collective. Because here's how y'all know about that in the collective, y'all. I've been talking about it, all right? It comes out of my readings because I wrote that card. Because I knew they had paid somebody to do voodoo magic on me from another country. This this girl, and her name's Lily, Lily. And uh, they was trying to interfere. Cosmic interference came about and brought out this ice cold ice in Pamela over here, Pamela G. That is a oh ice queen queen of swords, so I could tell y'all what they did to me. Cause my name means a uh, uh honey joy. My name means sweet as honey joy and they don't like that light in me. They didn't want me to be successful. They didn't think I should have this individual freedom or 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 this power. They thought they could steal my inherited property and fuck you because I took the right action to tell what this earth sign done to me. Yeah, I did, Collective. I love you. Thank you for that, Spirit. You told the truth. You told the truth how this, how this person had conjured up magic and been praying for deities to come and split up this union. Look, and look, they're still holding hands, still a force. I love my old man. I love you, Jer. I love you, Jer. You're so beautiful. You're, you're the best, and I know it. And they can say blabbity, bloobity, blab, and they don't know jack shit enough, and they'll find out soon enough. You know, why do you think I'm here to teach? So I can tell you all, me and my old man went through this shit, and you can't grow from that. And we have. This was years ago. So y'all need to quit stop thinking that uh, I'm on here hiding something. No, I'm not. I've told everything, so there's no use to think I am. Because I'm, I'm about truth, and if you don't like truth, get off my channel if you don't believe in me. Truly. Truly simple, I'm telling the truth. Right now, I'm telling the truth. Spirit, spirit. Can we have another message? Can we have a message, spirit? I love you, spirit guides. You're so wonderful to me. Spirit guides. You're so wonderful to me, and I thank you, and I love you. I love you so much. Oh, wow. 
This is about, oh gosh, you're a mountain goddess. And I growed up on Powell Mountain. I swear I did. And my old man said, Powell Mountain girls will make you holler. If you give them a big thousand dollars, he used to say a big fat dollar. <laughs> this is a song he used to sing to me. And I said, Powell Mountain girls will make you holler. If you give them your hold down check and you don't bitch or squalor. <laughs> you know, and you know, me and him, we've helped each other. We've helped each other through our life. This is about high vibrations. This is about practicing mindfulness. This is about power of the mind. I got power over my mind because I'm the mountain goddess. And I am. I am, you all. I, we, I got a cabin, me and my old man does, and it's on the highest mountain point. Where back in the old days, you remember the fire towers and people had to climb up in the fire towers and look off. We got property that overlooks. That's how tall it is. There's a fire tower on it. And um, have y'all watched them movies about uh, them them West Virginia's out, and they look stupid and crazy and shit, and they run around, and they're inbred and shit, and they're in them fire towers. Remember Wrong Turn? Watch your movies, y'all. Yeah, yeah I, I live at one of them things. We got a cabin at one of them. Yeah, that's how tall it is. That's how you know I'm mountain goddess. That's how Spirit just said it. Spirit said the secret of Camelot. This is about you have the authority of Spirit to tell others this. Yeah, and I do, because I just told you. This is about the angel gate. This is about cleansing and protecting your blessings. That's what it's about, baby. Because this is about resurrection. This was about a comeback. This is about a rebirth and a renewal. You all come back together. Oh, and spirit loves you. That's what it means. That's what it means, you guys. Spirit loves you. That's all it means, you guys. Okay? And is there anything else that we need to know today, spirit? And we thank you. That spirit said, spirit took you from being out in Confucius. Confucius say, which way, which way? To you're not worried about a way. You believe in divine timing. That's what it meant. You and your person safe. You and your person safe. Okay, what else do we need to know, Dave? I love you, spirit. Oh, me and my person and you and your person safe out there, collective. This is about your all's unified love. And you being resurrected, you, you, you goddess are able to talk about this because the angel gate, the angel of love helped you. Remember my card says the angel of love. This is the angel gate. And this is about cleansing and protecting your blessings of this love. This is the first deacon in cancer. And this is about uh, duality, togetherness, a settling of energy, union, love, balance. You and your partners are very balanced and you love and you all may be married, and I am, or you're all getting ready to get proposed to out here, Collective. Yeah, this connection can't be broke. It can't be broke. You're like a queen of wands, you know. You, you got to be courage and confident and independent and stay laser focused because you got a zest for life. You're very determined and you got a lot of joy. This is the third deacon in Pisces and second deacon in Aries, okay? That angel gate might be opening in Aries or Pisces season when you all might be coming together. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Listen to what she said. It's true what I just told you. Yep, it will be. Anything else, Spirit? I love you and I thank you so, so much. Oh, and look, look, um, you, uh, you, you, uh, this person was wanting to avoid conflict. And this is about you needing to learn about respecting differences and agree to disagree during all this diversity. And that's why my reading that I did, and people is going to get mad at it, some of y'all, it's because all this energy come towards me, you all, and I wasn't lying about it. And I proved it in real time. I wasn't lying that, that it was real true. And uh, this is about um, you changing from all that loss feeling so you can... Uh, Stay connected in your partnership, you know. Maybe you were stuck up in your head on something you weren't supposed to be. Because this motherfucker is the slowest knight in the deck. And, um, you know, you, you got to keep working hard and be productive and, and keep a routine. And, and I do. I do. And you're very efficient and responsible, you and your partner are. And you had to realize that this was just inner turmoil that both of you all, y'all learned lessons of things that y'all did to each other in secrets. Y'all had to release all that worry about these secrets, you know, and uh, somebody might want to reach out to you because you've helped them to, to take all our secrets away. They love you for uh, telling them 
things like this because you helped them, okay? Oh, and uh, somebody, uh, this is somebody from your past, okay? This is somebody that you're very familiar with. This is about movement and balance to, and a solution. You're, you're, you're healing and you feel very empathetic, okay? So, uh, Queen of Wands, you, you had to get from living up in your head. It was causing arguments and uh, you was avoiding a conflict because you didn't want to be honest or talk to that person. And, uh, and you, you, you started working hard and this is about your long-term view and you persevering and being diligent. And not feeling lack of long-term vision, okay? Like you was feeling limited success or reward. Work without results. Distractions. They were sending distractions towards you. This stupid person that was keeping his fight going. Look, this stupid son of a bitch that was keeping a fight going was an Aries, Leo, or Sag, man or woman. And um, they was keeping his fight going or a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, or a Aries Taurus, the third deacon in Aries, second deacon in Taurus. This was a Aries Taurus cusper that was taking forever to bring you an offer, and the motherfucker know that he had a lot of fucking apologizing, dude. But that's all right, cause see, you 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 started saying, hey, no, uh, this person doesn't have any fucking long term visions. They was just trying to limit my success, and I and I'm not worried about it. See, you're not worried about it. You're not worried about it because you know that somebody loves you. You know, you know that uh, this person loves you. This, you're all two of a kind, and you can help many people out here. And the long term outcome will be when you stay focused on this marriage, this relationship, all this. Look, you stay focused on this relationship with this Virgo. I have a Virgo. I I don't know what it means for you all. It just means that y'all need to stay diligent and keep. You got high standards. You know, this is about apprenticeship and you mastering your skills. You are doing things, you're doing this repetitively. And um you're you're manifesting and, and this is about absolute decisions. This is about your business and the ego, okay? Everybody that does a practice like this has to get out of their ego. Yeah, you do. Everybody does this practice. I think it's kind of like that everybody sees when you do this tarot thing right here that you have to let your ego go. And these readers that try to get you acting act, acting up, don't pay them no mind. But once a month, if they keep on harping at you, you got to fucking blast them out. So next month, I'm going to do somebody else. It'll be the new person that's trying to take me down. And I'm going to blast it out for everybody. See, I love my collective. See, I help you guys. And... This is about you being a uh, positive pleasure and happy. People love you. People love you at work. They're 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 not wanting you to get around because they love you at your work. That's all it means, okay? They love you at your work and your Virgo loves you and he knows it and, and my old man knows my old man knows everything. He knows everything. And um, he knows why all this conflict and fighting was going on. It was about competition. And maybe, you know, you all had to, uh, you, you, you're, you had to live through your competition. This is about uh, these people that was sneaky and bullies and thieving. They were sneaky and trying to steal. And when at all costs, they are having bad luck. They have no control over their life at all. They have none. And uh, this is about me breaking a cycle today. This is Jupiter energy. Oh, so maybe it's Jupiter return right now for somebody in their birth chart. Yes, yes, uh, they're getting ready to receive bad luck. Yes, this person that came against this spiritual partnership, it come to light that anybody that tries to fuck with what I built, anybody that tries to fuck with what I built with me and my Virgo, it come to light that karma will be shit right back to you because I'm an Aquarius. See that right there? I'm an Aquarius. That's what this card is. That's a first deacon in Aquarius. And if you think about it, my birthday's 125, so you know I'm fucking first deacon in Aquarius, our dum-dums. So, um, all this conflict, I know how to stop it because I was a bully in the past, and I know how to stop it. 
because I also know these people that go around bullying these other readers, these women, that they was in an abusive relationship. And, you know, me and my old man used to do that shit to each other too, but we don't anymore. That's why good looks coming to me and him. Because see this, one, two, three, four, sis, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. See these little books, see them little books of knowledge. What they didn't know is I'm purely the most peerless karma giving person out here. If you fuck with me, I have all this in my four corners. And I love that one reader that told me that. And you know who you are, ma'am. And I watch you every Sunday when you upload. I, I appreciate you. And I know that, uh, well, go at Leary and you look like that cat eyes. I like that. Oh, and that, look here. Me and you, we're getting good luck because we're very knowledgeable. And we teach these other idiots to not fuck with some of us ones that's got four fixed signs in their charts because there's karma attached to it. There's karma attached to fucking with my marriage. Just thought I'd let you guys know. <laughs> Just thought. Let's give them another good reading. What is something that they need to know today, spirit? Remember now, every time it, we laugh, it will raise our vibes. I've had this card made for months and months. Remember that, you all. That raises the vibes of the planet. Keep laughing. Keep laughing about how they do you, all right? Keep laughing about how these nosy sons of bitches do you, and they go around nosy, and they went and nosy in your personal life. Go go on. Then you'll see what happens to them. What else, what else do we need to know today? I love you, Spirit, and I thank you so very much. What else do we need to know today? You're going through a resurrect. Oh, I love you, spirit. Only you know what is going on inside of you. And 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 you you may have fear to make a decision on your own because you feel like your own input ain't correct. So you run to other people for answers and they're already inside yourself. See, I knew that I was going to receive karma because I did run to other people for answers. And, I, and I'm honest about it. My husband knows it. I told him what I blabbed and he tells me. And that's how... That we learned to start trusting in our relationship because we didn't, we don't do that anymore, me or him, and it started flourishing. And and both us, we trust, and you all need to do this. You you trust and boss fidelity and honesty. When you trust, you'll grow stronger and it be wet and bad. See, look here, your all's trust is growing stronger because you're a mountain goddess. This is the angel gate that is bringing all this karma out at the moment. It's, it's cleansing and clearing all its karma for you at the moment so you and your partner can be as one, Mountain Goddess, because you this is your all's comeback. This is your rebirth that your marriage went through because you got, this, you got, you got secret Camelot wisdom. This is about the authority of spirit. The spirit did this. I love you, spirit. Does anybody believe me yet? I love you, oh spirit! They can't believe that you survived all those lies and tricks. These people that's coming against your marriage, and and uh, these people need to learn how to voice their opinion. And everybody has a voice, and you got to open up. That's all you can do. See, I opened up. I opened up my lies and tricks. It's a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which I planted. You know, divine timing. You put it in divine's hands, so that's all in His timing. Ecclesiastes 3 2, okay? Maybe at somebody's birthday. 3 2. Remember that Aries pulled out earlier? What else do we. Their thumbs down in our videos. These people are. Their thumbs down in our videos. If you're a star, they're trying to. They hate us. They hate us because we're the healer of the ages and it's our destiny. It's not your eyes to mess with. They tried to fuck with this star's destiny. Do you? Are you listening? They fucked with this star's destiny. Listen, collective. Get this reading around. They fucked with this star's marriage. There's a time to be born and a time to die and a time to plant that which I planted. So whatever they planted on this star and on this wedding to take place... Karma's coming right back to them. You don't have nothing to worry about, my dear loves out there. You have nothing to worry about. If you are an Aquarius and you're married, you all you have nothing to worry about. Even if you're not, and you're all trying to be married, and you're all you, and you're all trying to come together, you'll be okay. Trust me, okay. Turn your music on and listen to these. Listen to this music. It helps your vibes and life, life, and listen to music every day. It helps your vibes, okay. 
And uh, for all who left me out in the cold over things that they done to me in the dark, like these witches I was talking about, they will be the ones paying for what they did to Star. They tried to keep you out of the spiritual community, Star, like they did me. Oh, and uh, you might have to make a decision in a quicker split second. Oh, and look, remember that little fingernail moon I said it come out this morning, remember? That means I'm a high priestess, and I know how to make a lot of fucking decisions. I've made a bunch in my life. You all bad decisions and good. You know, I mean, so you might have to make a decision here in a day or two to be as one and married star. That's for somebody out here. I love y'all. And um, and uh, you're getting ready to travel the world, and Divine Masculine wants to take you anywhere you wish to go. Just say where, and you'll be there, baby. Oh, that that's the decision for some star out here that makes people laugh and whoever always was that kept them out in the cold over his marriage well whether spiritual or real marriage you're going to go down and there's a card fell out and i seen it and i love you spirit i thank you so much Whoever them people are, they just want everybody that you want. That's all it is. They ain't happy until they fuck with whoever you have. That's all it is, you guys. You all know how people are. What fell out in my lap was this, and it says, God doesn't give the hardest battles to his toughest soldiers. He creates the toughest soldiers through life's hardest battles. So when people wants to challenge 4111, when people wants to challenge God's authority, like these readers that says, they are God, and they're the only one, and they're the bringer of justice. When I am a true bringer of justice, I have 1111. That's me. All them Libras, and I'm an Aquarius, and I'm like a fucking Leo line in my North Node right now. And they're, all these people are pissed because they know they, they didn't know who a tough son of a bitch was, but everybody in the world's getting ready to know who I am because I'm not giving up. And this reader that don't believe in God, listen to what this says, reader. God doesn't give the hardest battles to the tough soldiers. Why would you do that? Because they already know, you understand? He creates the toughest soldiers through life's hardest battles. That means you had to go through a bunch of shit and a pile of horse shit to come out on top. That's all it means. I know. I've been through horse shit. Some of these readers be like, that all that I know that I've heard about them is as a drug addict and they want it to slut around. I mean, hell, I mean, I've slut around wanted to do it too. But I mean, I've 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 actually had a kid blow its brains out and fuck all y'all who's against me because you're all gonna go down, I'm telling you right now. And if I had a star for every time that you brighten my day, star, I'd have a whole galaxy on my hands. Are you listening to that? This is this is this masculine that loves you, big star. Look, I'm pound star oracle. See? So, if you, who do y'all believe? Do you believe Star that's living in her north node that I that I come from a galaxy away? Do y'all believe that yet? Do y'all believe that I am sun? Do y'all believe yet that I am living in my north node, you dumbasses? Because I am. Do y'all believe that I have a marriage from the divine? Do y'all believe it yet? Do y'all believe it yet? Well, you're... You might as well, because I, I live it every day. I live it every day, and I love you guys, and I've got to get off here where the reading so long. And remember, it's all in divine timing. Everything is. And life, life about what these people does. Life about these people at Voices Up with their stupid opinion, and you smear them all to hell and back. It's okay. Turn your music on, and they'll be like, I tried to warn them to listen to frequencies. Nah, bitch. You're saying all that shit, trying to make people get back in your good graces, and, and you're you're getting ready to go all the way, way down. That's what it is. And um, this person that's married in a wet, and I have a wedding band on, is telling you the truth. That you should have moved the fuck away. When I tried to tell you, you're going to have to make a split second. Somebody might be getting to hurt you, because now the tricks and lies is coming over to you. Did you see how you did that? You you alchemize it because you're a narcissist. I love you guys. That's how you teach the narcissist. So I'm going to kill all the narcissists on earth because my purpose was to come here at this day and age, me and my partner, to make sure and let y'all know you can get through anything. These people, it says you have to leave a marriage before your business will grow. That is a motherfucking lie. That is a lie. If you've went through all these challenges together and you're all still standing strong and you love each other and you don't bother each other and you stay by yourself and you all work and you all give equally, 
Fuck them people, because they don't know jack shit. 4433, they don't need, they don't know nothing. They just wish they could be as uh as you are. Cause they, they didn't they didn't do that and they wish they would have had enough 4444 gumption to do that, but they didn't. And they're mad cause cause you did it like me. They're mad cause I did it. Yeah. They know that I'm resurrected, that my soul is. They didn't understand I was a I, I had a lot of fucking knowledge that they didn't understand. And now they're understanding. It's because I'm mountain goddess and I have this. I have my son. My son. See that rainbow? See that rainbow bridge? That means blessings, you know. That means I'm protected. I'm protected. And this is about resurrected, okay? I'm, 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 like, I'm like an angel in disguise, see? That's what I am, all right, you guys? And I love y'all. And, and a spirit helps me. Cause I'm, I got a lot of authority, and I love you, God, and that's all I want to show. And it ends my favorite cards I ever got, and they're tiny. I thought they'd be bigger, but I love them. I can put them in my pocketbook when I um, actually do readings for uh, the public where I live. Yeah, I'm gonna make that business here, and I'm gonna make money doing it because I'm a psychic, and people knows it. And I'm gonna charge for my readings. And if y'all would like a personal reading, y'all let me know, collect it, cause I love you guys, and I'm not doing it right now, but I'll put you down on the list. All right, pieces.